Hello everybody! In this video, I'm going to tell you about Action Center in Windows operating system, how you can configure and use it, and how to disable notifications. Hello friends! If you need to recover deleted data, view or restore removed browsing history, Hetman Software Products will help you. Follow the link in the description, download the necessary program for free, install it and analyze the disk. The utility will show you the data you can recover, so you will be able to view it or get it back. In our channel and blog you will find solutions to any problem, from installing an operating system or configuring it to fixing possible bugs and errors or optimizing mobile gadgets. Our specialists will answer any questions you ask in your comments under the videos or articles. The Action Center notifies the user on various events in the work of a specific program or the entire system. For example, there can be antivirus notifications, system messages about the hard disk, or notifications about how a particular program works. Windows Action Center is quite easy to use, and it can be quickly configured to suit everyone's needs. Its messages pop up in the lower right corner of the desktop, a bit over the system tray, when an application needs to inform you on an action or on the status of the operating system. If you don't close the notification, it will disappear automatically in 6 seconds. Anytime there are any notifications, the Windows Action Center icon in the system tray turns white and shows the number of new notifications. If there are no new messages, the icon is empty and without any figures inside it. To open the Action Center, click on that icon. On the right, you will see a pop-up panel showing all latest notifications, and if there are several of them, they will be grouped by application. Clicking on any notification will open the window of the program that sent it, or the window containing certain system settings, depending on what kind of message you see. Such windows may suggest an action to be taken, or just inform you on the program or system status. Sometimes the result of your action when clicking on a certain message is explained in the notification. For example, if there are updates available for the operating system or certain applications, the notification says that such updates will be installed when you click on the message. It's quite easy to clear such notifications. Just bring the mouse pointer over a specific message and you will see the clear button, fashioned like a cross. To clear the notification, just click on the button. After you clear a notification, it can't be restored. You can also clear an entire group of notifications for a selected application by positioning the mouse pointer on the application name and clicking on the clear button which appears. If you need to remove all the messages, just click on clear all button in the lower right corner of the screen. To configure notifications, open Settings by clicking on the Start button, then go to System, Notifications and Actions. In the Notifications section you will see the list of settings for such messages. Show notifications on the lock screen. If you want to prevent any notifications from appearing when the screen is locked, disable this option by dragging the slider to Off position. Show alarms, reminders and incoming VOIP calls on the lock screen. When you disable notifications in the lock screen, you will still be shown reminders and incoming calls. Drag this slider to off position to get rid of them. The other two settings are Show me the Windows welcome experience after updates and occasionally when I sign in to highlight what's new and suggested, and Get tips, tricks and suggestions as you use Windows. If you're not interested in such tips, suggestions, new functions or updates, you can disable this one as well. The setting Get notifications from apps and other senders lets you disable all notifications in one move. To do it, drag the slider to the off position. The changes will be applied to notification settings immediately. Below you can see the next section – Get notifications from these senders. Here you can disable notifications for a specific program from the list. If you are annoyed by messages from a certain application, just set its slider to off position. To view extra settings, left-click on the application and another page will open. 
In this page, you can disable notifications of an application, choose to show notification banners or not, decide if you want to keep uh, notifications private in the lock screen, show notifications in the action center or play sounds when notifications arrive. You can also control the number of notifications visible and set priority for such messages. This list may not display all programs and some of them may have their own notification settings. To change them, you should open the program settings. In addition to disabling such messages in the settings, you can also do it with the registry. To do it, open the Run window by pressing Windows plus R key shortcut and enter Regedit. Then follow the path HKEY CURRENT USER SOFTWARE MICROSOFT WINDOWS CURRENT VERSION PUSH NOTIFICATIONS Right-click on the right side of the editor and select New D word, set it to bit value, give it the name Toast enabled and leave its value data at zero. Then you'll have to restart the computer. After that, notifications will, will no longer annoy you. To remove the action center from the system tray, there are two ways with the registry or with the local group policy editor. In the registry editor, follow the path. H key current user software policies Microsoft Windows Explorer. If there is no line called Explorer, it should be created, and then add a D word 32 value with the name Disable Notification Center and value data 1. To enable the center again after you have disabled it this way, just delete that value or change its value data to 0. To disable the Action Center with the Local Group Policy Editor, open the Run window, type gpedit.msc, go to User Configuration, Administrative Templates, Start Menu and Taskbar, find the value Remove Notifications and Action Center, open it and change its settings to Enabled. After that, you'll have to restart the computer or the Windows Explorer. To restart the Windows Explorer, open the Task Manager. Follow the link in the description to watch a video on the Task Manager and its functions. Find the Windows Explorer and restart it. And then the Action Center icon will disappear from the system tray. You can enable it again by restoring the settings for this value. You can also disable the Action Center icon by using the control panel. Open Settings, Personalization, Taskbar, turn system icons on or off and disable it from here. And that is all for now. Hit the like button and subscribe to our channel. Leave comments to ask questions. Thank you for watching and good luck.